All right, guys. Uh, Donald Trump just voted in the Georgia, no, sorry, Florida uh, primary, uh, the Florida Republican primary, and he held a quick press. They're calling it a press gaggle. So let's tune in and see what happened and react. Okay. Here he comes. Looking, well, thank you. Very looking exceptionally orange. Very good. Very much. Very much. Uh, Looks like you just had his hair done as well. Great yeah. honor to vote. They've done a fantastic job here, and uh, we appreciate it. We think uh, we're doing very well. We just had a poll that shows we're doing very well. Nobody asked you. And uh, we have an interesting couple of months ahead of us. I'm, McKinney, I'm going to uh, North Carolina right now. We're going to speak on the economy. It's basically a speech on uh, what's going on with our economy. It's gone very bad under this group of people with Sounds like he's signaling a pivot. I can assume, uh, you know, Trump does pay attention to the press and he does listen to criticism from certain people, especially from Fox News and the like, that have been telling him, hey, listen, buddy, uh, you're you're suddenly losing and everyone can see that and your weird panicky attacks on Kamala's race and, you know, the uh, stolen valor stuff and all this bullshit is not working. So go back to the issues, the things that you are strong on and that matter, including the economy and the border and immigration and you know enough of the uh, ridiculous shit so that's what it seems like he's signaling uh inflation with the economy itself and so many other things the other thing we're going to talk a little bit on is crime if you look at the migrant crime in new york it's been out of control and it is everywhere as i predicted a long time and we know that you know i've uh seen this i've said this these are you know obvious things but that Immigrants commit crimes at a much lower rate than do native, uh, native-born American citizens. So that is uh, another false claim from Trump. Time ago, and we'll be talking a little bit about crime and all of the people that have come into our country illegally, millions and millions. I think it's close to 20 million. Maybe it's more than 20 million, and they shouldn't have. That's a made-up number. That's not true. Been allowed to come here. It's uh, causing. A tremendous problems causing death and just it's been uh, it's been a horror show nobody's seen anything like it and it's only going to get worse they should not have allowed this to happen to our country uh with that being said i'm leaving for right now north carolina uh, do you have a question yes sir uh, what has the fbi told you about the half of campaign well uh, they're looking at it and they're doing it very professionally and he act, asked about the hack that happened on his campaign apparently their campaign was hacked it looks like it's iran Iran doing it because Iran is no friend of mine and you know a lot that apparently it was Iran hacking them and that would make sense because Trump was very hostile to Iran he ripped up the Iran nuclear deal he uh, assassinated one of their generals he's very very hawkish on Iran so they would have incentive to uh, do something to stop him from uh, gaining support a lot of bad signals get sent but uh, looks like it's Iran doing it and the reason is because I was strong on Iran and I was protecting uh, people in the Middle East that maybe they aren't they aren't so happy about that. So uh, that's what it seems to be, Iran. Is that what the FBI told you specifically that it was Iran? I don't want to say exactly, but it was Iran. And you said Harris's crowd sizes were AI and that there weren't people there. There's all kinds of video evidence and people who were there who had proven that false. Can you tell us about why you made that claim? Well, I can't say what was there, who was there. I can only tell you about ours. We have the biggest crowds ever in the history of politics. We have crowds that nobody's ever seen before, and uh, we continue to have that. We have a level of enthusiasm that nobody's seen before. They want to make America great again. Level of enthusiasm that no one's seen before, except for right now with the Kamala Harris campaign. That's getting actually more enthusiasm than uh, his rallies and uh, his events. So no one's ever seen it before, except right now and except not at your events. Right. And that's what's happening. We're going to make it great again. Right now, we have a failing nation. We're in a failing nation and uh, become in many ways a third world nation and we're not going to let that happen thank you very much thank you everybody so a lot of the same bullshit a lot of the same weirdness um, you know so that's pretty much what you've come to expect from uh, trump at this point so uh, impromptu uh, voting and press conference a little more of the same from donald trump what's new uh, uh, see you guys in the next one